All right, so you're in ADS and you need to get some S parameters into your simulation. So what do we do here? Let's say maybe you have a textbook problem that you need to solve, or maybe you're trying to simulate a transistor S parameter file that you've gotten from a manufacturer's website. How do we go ahead and do that in ADS? Well, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is navigate to this data folder in your project directory. And then once you're in this data folder in your project directory, you're gonna go ahead and wanna create a new text document. Now you're only gonna to wanna to create this text document if you are getting your S parameter files from something like this where you have to manually type them in. If you already have an S parameter file, you can go ahead and skip this step. So we've created a new text document and let's go ahead and rename it to example two. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you go ahead and change the file extension from .txt to .s2p. And what basically that signifies is that you have a two port S parameter measurement. So go ahead and click enter. It's gonna warn you that you're changing the file, but that's exactly what we wanna do. And so you might not have a way to actually open this file by default. So all you have to do is right click, click open with, and then I like to use Notepad++, but you could really use uh, Notepad that comes to fall with Windows. So I'm gonna click Notepad++, and then click OK, and we're gonna open a blank, basically another blank text document. Okay, so how do we actually get these S parameters now into this file? Well, basically we have a very handy format for what's called touch tone or S parameter files. And it basically goes as follows. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another example. This is an example that I have to kind of give us the template and I'll put this in the description too. So what does this first line mean? This first line basically signifies the parameters of our S parameter file. So if we go here, this pound symbol defines the line as the option line. Gigahertz defines what units we use and you can use Hertz, you can use anything you want really. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna be simula simulating S parameter files, but there are other parameters that you can simulate with this touch tone. And then MA, DB, we wanna use MA, that stands for magnitude angle degree. And that's generally what you see here, magnitude angle degree. And then finally, this is important, but make sure that R is 50. Nine times out of 10, or probably 99 times out of 100 nowadays, you're gonna be using R naught, or sorry, Z naught, characteristic impedance at 50 ohms. So we wanna make sure that we have this line. You're gonna go ahead and be able to just copy and paste this right away. So this exclamation point is a comment in this S parameter file. And so this line doesn't actually do anything in the code. This just is a line that I've added to help us understand the format that we need to punch in the data. So we have this textbook and we need to, you know, get these S parameters loaded into ADS. So let's go ahead and let's copy them over to ADS. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here so I can see it on my other screen and then start typing it in. So take note of the interesting order that it goes in. It goes S11, S21, S12, S22. You have to make sure that you get that right. And then we're gonna be able to um, see that in ADS to make sure everything checks out. Okay, so let's start with our frequency. In the problem, it signifies following S parameters at 1.9 gigahertz. So our unit is gigahertz. So all we have to do is type 1.9. S11 is 0 0.869. The angle is minus 159. And now, so in the textbook, it goes S12. But we wanna make sure we follow the convention in the S parameter file and type S21 first. So S21, 4.250 angle 61. Now we're back to S12, 0 0.031, angle negative nine, 0 0.507, angle minus 117. Okay, then you're gonna wanna make sure you have one more extra line at the end of your file, otherwise ADS is gonna yell at you. So go ahead and save this. Now let's go back to ADS and get things started. Start off by putting some terminators. And then now the module that you're gonna want is called either an SNP, if you have an arbitrary number of ports, or S2P. Since we have two ports, we're gonna use this S2P, but you have to keep in mind that on the S2P, you have to actually place the ground manually, whereas on SNP, you don't have to. So if you wanna use SNP, you could double click on this and change this to go to two port. And now we have two ports here. Um, and the ground's already baked into this. But let's go ahead, I always use this one so I can see the file. 
All right, so now how are we gonna load it in? Well, it's very easy. You just double click on this and then click browse up here. And boom, it automatically opens up this data folder in our ADS project. So let's go ahead and select example two, and then click apply. And then you can click check view S parameters and you can play around with this. So you can see what all the S parameters are. Um, I actually think a better way of doing this is just going ahead and simulating it. So let's go ahead and connect everything up with our wires. And then let's load in an S parameter simulation. And I'm gonna change this to do a single point because we are loading it at, we've only loaded it at 1.9 gigahertz. So we, we don't wanna simulate if we don't have any data for those other frequencies. So go ahead and click apply. Now we can go ahead and just go up here and simulate this and see what happens. All right, so the easiest way to check if you entered everything incorrectly is to put in a list and just go ahead and click S expand this. So just go ahead and compare each one of these with whatever you have in your textbook or any other way that you've procured your S parameters. So it looks good. We've got our S parameters now in ADS. What does it look like if I wanted to take a file like this from one of the manufacturers? So let's go ahead and download this one. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in that data folder. So now I'm going to go ahead in ADS and just change that file. And let's go ahead and actually inspect what those S parameter files look like. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. And as you can see here, there's a lot more data in this file. And if you actually scroll all the way to the bottom, we see noise parameters. This is something else that I'm going to go ahead and cover in a different video, but there are more things that you can put besides just the S parameters in one of these touch tone files. So let's go ahead and simulate this. So let's say you downloaded it. Now I want to simulate it. So we've changed this. Now let's say I want to go, instead of a single point, I want to do a linear sweep from one gigahertz to five gigahertz. Um, and we'll do it on zero, 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 001. Actually, it's probably too many. 4,000 points. Click apply. And now let's simulate. So it's just going to, this is going to stay here. It's just going to plot it for the first frequency that we start. But what we can do that's even more interesting is go ahead and actually plot the S parameters this way and see what they look like. So guys, that's it. It's as simple as that. That's how you load in S parameters into ADS, either from a manufacturer's website or directly from a textbook that you enter in yourself. I hope that was helpful. Do good work, everyone, and we'll see you next time.